academy hapa ambao pia ndio tunafanya kazi nao na mheshimiwa wa hapa the community leaders na kila mtu na tuseme siku ya leo tumekuja kuangalia na macho yetu mahali uwanja wa ndege wanakuru kufika kwa sababu kama vile mnakumbuka mwezi wa 12 mwaka jana tulikuja na tukazindua Ibrahim uh, na tunafuraha kwa sababu tumeona tumeweza kuchukua hatua na tumehakikishia kwamba itikapo mwaka wa 2022 August tutakuwa tukimalisha kukamilisha eh, mradi huu. Kwa hivyo yetu ni kushukuru sana kwa kazi ambayo inaendelea. Na pia ni sema mradi huu haungewezekana ila kwa rais kuingilia na kuhakikisha pesa zimewekwa katika mradi huu. Na pia kuona vile ambavyo tutaweza kutumia hii airport ya hapa Nakuru kama njia moja ya kufungua uchumi wa hapa Nakuru uchumi tukizingatia mambo ya kitalii mambo ya ukulima na biashara ambayo inafanyika hapa kwa hivyo tuna eh, tuna matumaini makubwa sana katika hii airport na vile tutakuwa tukifanya wanapokaribia kumaliza hii itakuwa ni face ya kwanza tulikuwa tumesema kwamba kutakuwa na face ya pili ambapo pia tutaangalia sehemu zingine ambazo zinapaswa kufatuliwa zikiwemo barabara ambazo zinazunguka sehemu hii barabara kupitia la net vile civili anataweza kuingia hapo na mambo kama hayo na nimehakikishia kwamba tayari wanafanya hizo estimates ili tuweze kuwakilisha na kuweza kutafuta budget hiyo kupitia serikali kwa hivyo yangu tu nikushukuru um, Kenya Airport Authority uh, the Ministry of uh, Transport led by CS Macharia and in particular also the president for his relentless commitments to ensure that this project comes to fruition People of Nakuru have great hopes, have great expectations on this airport. And just for those who may not know, we have talked about this airport for over 20 years and it never happens. But now we can see clear demonstration of commitment on the side of government, both in terms of uh, budget and also implementation of the actual project. So we will work together, together with the stakeholders, the business community. And uh, my only challenge to all the people in Nakuru is that when the government invests this kind of uh, projects, they will not make any sense if the business community does not align itself to take advantage of it. If you're in the tourism sector, once the government has set the infrastructure, how do you plan to take advantage of this through conferencing, through meetings? How do you align yourself? If you're selling vegetables locally and away, this airport can mean a lot. So, I think the next phase that we want to get into is also to advise our people that we may do big highways, big um, airports, but they will only make sense to the extent that the local community appreciates, understands, and can be able to make economic capital out of that. And in so doing, some people will get employment, others are going to get uh, money and direct uh, subcontracts and so on. So we believe that uh, among many other things that we should be doing is also to engage the community on aligning them to the bigger goals that are ahead of us and in particular how we can ensure that uh, the money we put as, as national government and county governments there is a return on investment from that money and that can only come through cooperation especially with the private sector. And then lastly also is to confirm that uh, the airport is part of the many other projects that we are doing in Akuru all aimed at opening Nakuru to make it a city, to make it a viable city, and I think also more importantly, to make it attractive for business and employment for 